Okay, picture this. You're sitting at your computer and you type in a few words like uh, a cat wearing a monocle riding a bicycle through a crowded market. <laughs> Hit enter and bam, there it is. A video playing right before your eyes, complete with music, background noise, the works. It's like having your own personal Hollywood studio right at your fingertips. Right, except it's not some far off fantasy. This is the world we're stepping into today, folks. We're talking AI generated video specifically Meta's brand new creation, Movie Gen. It's been making waves. Big time. We've got this NBC article here breaking it all down. And let me tell you, it's wild. So what are we waiting for? Let's dive right in. First things first, what exactly is Movie Gen and what can it actually do? In a nutshell, it's this AI model that can create these short videos up to 16 seconds with audio that can go even longer, like almost a minute. 16 seconds might not sound like a lot, but... But it's the potential. That's what has everyone buzzing, especially in Hollywood. And Meta's claiming it's even giving similar AI tools a run for their money. You know, the ones from those big names like OpenAI, the folks behind ChatGPT. So how does it work? Is it actually magic? Some secret code only Meta knows? Well, it might feel like magic, I'll give you that. But yeah. really, it's all about how cleverly they engineered it. Meta trained this movie gen on a massive, and I mean truly massive, mm -hmm. data set of videos and audio. Some of it they license, some of it publicly available. Think about it like this. You want to teach a kid how to paint, right? So you show them thousands, maybe millions of paintings, every style, every subject, you name it. Eventually, the kid starts to understand how the colors work together, how to create different textures, all that. And then they start creating their own original works of art. So movie gins like that kid, but instead of paintbrushes, it's using code. And instead of canvases, it's creating videos. Precisely. It's not just copying what it's seen before. It takes what it's learned and applies it to create something totally new from scratch. You just give it a simple text prompt, a few words describing what you want to see, and movie gen takes it from there. Like that example I gave before. A cat wearing a monocle, riding a bicycle through a crowded market. Movie gen could actually create a video from that. Absolutely. It could create a unique video, complete with realistic movement. Maybe the cat even wobbles a bit on the bike. Add in some background music, sounds of people chattering in the market, maybe even a dog barking in the distance. Okay, now I really want to see this video. But on a serious note, this is some seriously impressive stuff, and it's no wonder Hollywood is taking notice. But this NBC article also mentioned that Hollywood's not exactly one big happy family when it comes to... AI video tech. Yeah, there are definitely some mixed feelings floating around. So give us the inside scoop. Who's excited, who's terrified, and why? Well, you can imagine a lot of filmmakers are seeing those dollar signs. Faster production times, lower costs. That's huge. Especially these days. Exactly. And then there's the creative potential. Suddenly, you can bring almost any idea to life, no matter how wild or imaginative, without needing a massive CGI budget. Want to add realistic dinosaurs to your next historical drama? No problem. Okay, I, I can definitely see the appeal there. But what's the downside? Why is everyone so worried? One word, copyright. AI models like MovieGen, they learn by analyzing tons and tons of existing content, right? right? And that opens up this whole can of worms when it comes to ownership and permission. Like, let's say MovieGen creates a scene that's strikingly similar to something in a famous movie. Who owns the rights to that AI-generated scene? That's a really good question. And a tricky one, legally speaking. Yeah. And it's not just hypothetical either. This NBC article mentioned Scarlett Johansson is actually suing the creators of ChatGPT over them using her voice. Yeah, things are escalating quickly. And it's not just about copyright either. There are all these ethical dilemmas popping up too. Like, what about deepfakes and how easy it might be to use this technology to spread misinformation? It's a whole new world. And we're writing the rulebook as we go. So with all this potential and all this controversy, what's Meta's game plan? Are they just going to release movie gen to the public and let chaos reign? From what we're hearing, they're being very, very cautious this time around. Word on the street is that they're working directly with filmmakers, content creators, people in the industry to test the water, see how it goes, kind of like a controlled beta test. They've even hinted that we might see movie gen integrated into some of Meta's own products sometime next year. So instead of a free for all, it'll be a more curated invite only experience, at least for now. Exactly. It makes sense, strategically speaking. It gives Meta a chance to shape the narrative, get some feedback, iron out those copyright and ethical issues before things get out of hand. And that's probably for the best. This is some powerful technology, folks, and it has the potential to revolutionize how we create and consume video content. But it also comes with its fair share of challenges and ethical dilemmas. 
Today, we've only just scratched the surface of MovieGen, but it begs the question, in a world where anyone with a keyboard can be a filmmaker, what stories will we tell? What will you create?